Why would there be an American flag on top of that? That tower's not real, neither are the clouds. Yeah! No! Tire! Ah! Oh. <laughs> uh, see, the American flag was not real. It's been just under a week since I asked you guys to submit your photos to see who could edit their photos better using generative fill. I got a lot of feedback, got a lot of people using the hashtag on Vero. Thank you, it's amazing, and holy crap. I peeked at a few of them and then I stopped and then Kirk set up a whole bunch that I'm going to react to and see if I can figure them out in real time. So basically, I'm seeing them for the first time as you're seeing them. So welcome back to yet another video. It's so great to have you here and see all of your smiling faces and this is reacting to your generative fill photos. The topic, the topic that has divided. I saw a lot of feedback. Some people were like, meh, this isn't photography. You know, photography is whatever you want it to be. I mean, if someone pays you for a job and they want you to use generative fill, use generative fill. If you don't like it, if you think it sucks and don't agree, don't use it. Uh, it's really not a big deal. You're gonna be okay. Big disclaimer at the beginning of this video is that people took their photos and used generative fill. So be it that you like that or not, not really the point here diving in. All of these were submitted on Vero using the hashtag Peter McKinnon challenge, which we might use again. So keep that one in the bank uh, because we'll be using the platform again. It was very easy to find. So the first one is from The Desert Portrait. Okay, I'm gonna say that house is fake. Maybe the fence is fake and the hydro pole. Oh, the water was fake. <laughs> I thought everything else was fake. <laughs> I am zero for one. I thought for sure that that barn was not real. Oh my gosh, that is insane. The reflection of the trees? All the trees are different. All the trees are different. I don't know how I feel about that. That's great, great job. All right, next. Uh, I'm gonna say that entire city in the center, including the water is not real. What? Oh my God, it got me again. <laughs> the entire surrounding. I thought for sure you took a photo of this beautiful mountainscape and there was probably a beautiful valley in the middle and you just decided to put a city there, but instead you made an entire valley and mountain range around the city. Okay, I'm 0 for 2. Okay, moving on to the next one. Do I go for broke and say the island wasn't there, nor is the boats, nor is the birds, nor is the sky. Yes! Yes, one in the bag. PM, one. Photoshop, two. Okay, moving on. Snow is fake. Mountains in the background, fake. Foreground, fake. Okay, mountains I got, fake. Snow, fake. And that foreground is not a river, fake. Let's go. Evened it up, baby. Two for two. PM, two. Photoshop, two getting fired up on this. Next photo, ooh, a portrait. Oh, that changes everything. Is this the girl reel? Did AI make this girl? Or did they make her background? Let's see the hair. Uh, I'm gonna say the whole background. Background looks sus. Yes. PM takes the lead. The internet is two. Peter, three. Yes, I knew those little purple plants were real. And the hair, it's the background because the, the bushes against her dress look pretty good. Andrew, that was a great photo. That was a great edit, man. That, that is honestly absurd. The grade and everything. This video's gonna make so many people mad. They probably all shoot Nikon. <laughs> all right, Nita Adventures. Look at this. This looks like a Peter Lick photo. Okay, the bear in the river, I'm gonna say not real. River, not real. Sky, not real. Mountain ranges, not real. Oh, what? Okay. Okay. Ah, oh, I'm down. So we got the stream is real. That bear, I knew that bear wasn't real, but it looks good and it looks like, that bear looks better than the horse that I tried. That barn threw me off. There's no reason you would add that. That's for sure there, baited me. Okay. 
Free three. Photoshop three. PM three. <gasps> I would obviously know this because this this is me. I don't remember standing like that ever. How old is this? What tattoos are missing? No, that's my hat. That's from last week. Obviously everything on the table is fake. My outfit is entirely fake. This is just my head and my hands. What is going on here? What is this? Elongates the table. I mean, that's pretty good though. Like five years ago, you tried to do that yourself. That would just not look as good. That's hilarious. Thomas, A plus. Or we're not even counting that one because obviously it's me. So we're... We're moving on with the score, but that's funny. Before we get on with the rest of these photos and see how badly I am being punished by Photoshop in this competition, uh, this video is sponsored by Squarespace. So thank you Squarespace for sponsoring this channel and being one of the partners of Peter McKinnon that lets me do what I do so that everybody around the world can enjoy and learn this craft that is photography. And if you do enjoy it and you are learning it and you want a place to host your photos or sell your photos or have a podcast about photos, any of the above, Squarespace is the place for you. It's an all in one platform. You don't have to figure out how to do web design. You don't need to go to college for web design like I did and drop out before you can get a degree, which I did not get a degree. You can do all of that in literally no time at all with no experience. And if you do get stuck, they have 24 seven customer service that you can get up and running. No problem. Lots of different templates to choose from. So you can constantly refresh your website, add new templates or find something that suits you and your business. Like I mentioned with selling things and podcasts and pay gating and putting in client portals, all of those tools that you would need in 2023 to get something up and running so that you could maybe make this your business too. You can do all of that at squarespace.com slash McKinnon for 10% off your first purchase. And thank you again to Squarespace for making all of this possible since the day I started this channel. I appreciate you and I like what you do and I'm grateful for all the support. Hit that link in the description, get started today. Okay, ooh. House isn't real, trees aren't real, rivers aren't real, sky's not real. Ah, uh, house is real. Okay, mountains aren't real, I called that. Did I call that? No, I called it sky. No, did I say mountains? Did I say mountains or sky? Rewind. House isn't real, trees aren't real, rivers aren't real, sky's not real. Sky's not real. I said sky. So I got half of it right, but I'm gonna say because I got the house wrong, that's a point for Photoshop. This is harder than it looks. Be honest, how many have you gotten right? Oh, here we go. Uh, that Shelby, that is not sitting there. There's no way that that car is there. Just gonna go and say no, or the fence. It's the surroundings again. I always look at the object and I think, is the object real? I said, there's no way Eleanor is just sitting there, but it was Eleanor's surroundings. Look at that though. You took like this nonsense fair from behind that and got rid of it. Like, it's so clean, but it got me. Austin, you got me. That's five to three. This isn't looking good. I'm losing to Photoshop. What is going on here? This dude's not sitting on a lion. Nothing is real. Paraglider, that's it. Ah. I should have just guessed he was sitting on something and he changed it to something else. The fact that you just thought, I'm gonna put a lion here is kind of hilarious. <laughs> the more I think about it, the more ridiculous it is. That lion is so bad, but I love that you did it, but it's like, it's the funniest one for sure. And I still got it wrong. Is there even a chance to come back or is that, have I lost? Did, did, did Photoshop just max for stabbing me? Oh, you got this. I don't know. You got this. How many years have you been working with photography? Like 20, dude. Photoshop for e eternity. You're better, better, better. better. It's hard. You're better, better than AI. It's hard. I'm, I'm trying. It's hard. It's hard. I got to. I can't. I don't know if I can do it. I don't know if I can do it. Two more. I can do two. I can do two. Believe I believe I can do two. I can do. I got this. Let's go. That cabin is not real. Those mountains in the background are not real. Cabin mountains not real. Yes. That's my point. I'm taking that point. Six, four. Mm, I got you. I, you, I got you. But dude, look at that. That was a field. That was an empty field. I was gonna say stream, you know, as well. I'll go with what I for sure know, which is cabin and mountains. Cause those mountains just look almost illustrated. They almost don't even look like from a photograph. Six, four, baby. Six, four, we still got this. Oh, that's difficult. Why would there be an American flag on top of that? That tower's not real, neither are the clouds. Yeah! No! 
살... 아! <웃음> 아. See, the American flag was not real. That's like, that's a half point, man. Well, come on. Do we go to the scoreboard for that? Like, I'm contesting that. I am contesting that. But I did say the tower's not real. That flag, that flag made me think the whole thing was fake. I knew the clouds were fake. Do I get like a half point or? I'm taking L. All right, here we go. Mountains not real. Fog not real. Snow not real. Mountains not real. Snow's not real. I'm taking that point. That's my point. Yeah, because he added fog further down from the mountains. 100%. It's 7-5 right now. I'm back. There's a chance. Okay. Um. Oh my gosh. The entire scene is not real. Maybe just the cabin. Oh. Mm. The entire scene is real. Just took the people out and made it wider. This is so difficult. It's eight to five. Fair play. Ugh. Oh, castle. I'm gonna say the whole thing's not real. Okay, that's it. That's it, that is, I... Was that nine, five? All right, guys, how many did you get right? Let me know below. You saw my score. Let me know what your score was. Uh, I had a lot of fun doing that. Thank you so much to everyone that submitted. For the people that I did choose for this video, thank you for letting me use your base image and your edit. I will be sending each and every one of you a Peter McKinnon camera bag. I will reach out through DMs on Vero to let you know and get your address details. Should we do another one of these? That was a lot of fun. I really liked reacting to your generative fill edits. And again, the debate, if this is real, if it's not, it's not the point. We're not saying one is better than the other. We're just exploring new tools that Photoshop has to offer that you don't have to use and no one's claiming one thing or another. And just like any other artist in the world, I also don't wanna be replaced by AI. But I don't think you can ever replace the high score. I don't think you can ever replace the heart and soul of a human and the art they create from that. So with that being said, thanks so much for watching. Hit the like button if you, <laughs> I can't even remember. Thanks so much for watching. Hit the like button if you like this video. Smash it if that's something that you're into. 2023 style. Subscribe if you haven't already. And, and I will see you in the next video. I was gonna slam the laptop down. It's already down. That's super not satisfying. And the hat spin just doesn't satiate the need to feel like, it's not the exclamation point that I'm needing. I need like, I need like a small, like a carnival hammer for something to then mm, go up and it, like ignite new colors back here. And so like, see the next video, oh, bing, and then all this fun stuff and the music ramps and everyone's feeling good. Like when you walk out of a movie and it's like a really upbeat song and you walk out feeling like, yeah, that was good. Opposed to like when it's a somber one, you all walk out looking at everyone else, thinking what they're thinking. And everyone's just bummed and you get back in your car silently. That's the worst. <laughs>